Absolutely. People must understand why they're involved in the sports subsector and why they're sportsmen or games masters and so on. So what if the, the, the executive of the Uganda Secondary School Sports Association has done is to, uh, for me, I want to commend them that they're beginning from the basics. Because that's what has been lacking. Like you've seen things I've been telling them. Most times they bring in students or people who are not students to come and compete in games which are for the secondary students. Sometimes also they have gone ahead to retain the same people year in, year out. And to make matters worse, some of them have been given to go to regional competitions, which have put it clearly to them as a ministry, we want only students who are at school, we want them to help us identify the raw talent which is down there within those secondary schools to participate. And this all comes with capacity building. Because what has been happening, every school is interested in winning. But are you interested in in, 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 in identifying the talent, in promoting that talent? No. The second message for me has again been on the issues of linkages. For instance, we have the federations. Federation is where we government work with them directly in terms of international competition. So while we appreciate that we support secondary schools when they also go for international competition, but in terms of development of the talent of that student or that child, it must go through the federations. And those are the areas I've, I've addressed them. The other one, of course, is the issue of infrastructure. It is true, and I want to re-emphasize, in this term of office, ours is to see how do we work closely with parliament to put in some money to develop our infrastructure. Both at districts, at the regional, and at the city level. That's an area where we shall. And we have already come up with a template on what is entailed with having an infrastructure. And that, I have another meeting next week with the sports officers across the country to give them a position and a plan which we have. If a district wants to develop its own stadium, we have already an, a developed template on what is entailed in that infrastructure, not only for one sport, but many sports disciplines across that. That's what I, I've been sharing with them.